All right, because I like to do things unconventionally. These uh, are not torque to yield bolts or typical hardened bolt, as I mentioned, but they still require the torque angle method. Not when you reuse them. I take them to 55 foot-pounds of torque. That'll be plenty. What I do is I do them in three stages. I start with the center bolts. Start in the center, work your way out. And then you do the same on the outers. And then your perimeter bolts, you can just put them in and make sure they're good and tight. Typically, I try to do three passes of 20 foot-pounds here. No particular method other than start from the center. Stage two, and this is personal preference. There's nothing in a textbook saying this is the way you do it. But this is the way I've had success. I'm gonna go to 40 foot pounds. And then finally, I'm gonna work my way up to 55. 55 is a good number. Again, starting in the center, working your way out. A small block Chevy or an Oldsmobile or whatever, use a larger bolt, like a 7 16 maybe even a half inch, a half inch diameter bolt, you can pick up to 130 foot pounds. These fasteners are about half the size, so half the size, half the torque rating. Now the inside bolts are done, I'm going to go to the outside perimeters and do the same method, 55 foot-pounds. Well, all in all, the bottom end checks out. I give it a, the bearings and everything else, a C-plus rating. Nothing great. I had the stock camshaft here. Soaking purple power for a few weeks. And a little bit of motor oil, and I'm going to shove her back in. I got her in. Just required a little bit of persuasion.